So you're buying a split level house. Should you buy a split level house? What is a split level house? I can help you with that. Eva Clark from Nextdoor Agents. Today, we are talking about what is a split level house and should you buy one? And by the way, thank y'all for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe down below because I make a new video every single week all about living in Warrensburg, Missouri. Eating, breathing, sleeping, playing, buying houses in Warrensburg, Missouri. So if you're interested in that, definitely click that button. Also, my contact information is right down below and I get calls and texts from people all over the world who are PCSing from two white men or moving to Warrensburg and just have questions about this town and I love answering them. So definitely reach out if you want to talk to me. So why do people build split level homes? That's a pretty easy answer. It's basically, it's economically smart. These homes are really cheap to build in comparison to other house styles. So a subdivision, someone who's building a subdivision is probably going to build tons of split level homes because they're cheap to build, they're easy to build, and they really appeal to a large variety of customers because they're really considered starter homes or first time home buyer homes because they're less expensive. And with this home, because it's cheaper to build, you can typically get uh, more high-end finishes or nicer appliances, things like that, that maybe you couldn't afford in a different style of home. So here in Warrensburg, split-level homes, now new split-level homes, typically go from between $250,000 and $350,000, which is a really good price for a new construction home. If you're looking for a split-level home that was built a while ago, you're looking at between $150,000 and $190,000. So still, very affordable, very affordable homes, and great first-time home buyer homes. But what do they look like, you ask? I shall tell you. Um, they're very, very easy to recognize once you know what to look for. You look and see where the door is on the house. Is the door in between the upper and the lower windows? Or is it level with upper or lower window? If it's level, you're probably not looking at a split level. But if your front door is in between those two windows, you're looking at a split level home. The inside of the homes have all very similar floor plans as well. So when you walk in the front door, you're gonna see two sets of steps. You're gonna see a set of steps going upstairs to the main living area, and then another set of stairs going down to the basement, which is usually completely finished. And upstairs, you'll have anywhere between two to three to even maybe four small bedrooms, and then two small living spaces. So a living room, and then a kitchen and dining room. Another very interesting part about split levels is that the garage is always tucked under the house. So when you go down to the basement, you have that one other living area that could be a second living room or it can be like a movie, TV room or another bedroom. And then you have that garage. So it looks like a very picturesque box when you're looking at the house with the front door kind of smack dab right in the middle of some steps. Now here's the question. What are the pros and cons of a split level house? Should you buy one? Well, first I'll talk about the pros. Now, the number one pro is these are very affordable. You can get a new construction house for not a lot of money in Warrensburg specifically if you go for a split level house. And they're very readily available because they're so economical to build. Builders like building them. So they're all over different subdivisions. And once you know to recognize them, you can instantly be like, that's a split level. Now, another pro is that since these houses are so inexpensive for builders to build in relation to other houses, you can have much nicer finishes. So nicer appliances, nicer cabinets, all those types of things that kind of just make you feel fancy. So that's really nice, especially if you're a first time home buyer to have this like brand new gorgeous house. Split levels have a lot going for them in that regard. Also, the resale value of split levels is awesome because they appeal to so many different buyers. You have this great giant group of people looking to buy them, so they are very easy to resell. 
Now another really great pro is that the mortgage on a split level home is going to be about the same price that you would pay to rent a three bedroom house, or actually it might be even less. So you can own your own home, you're paying less than you'd pay to rent it, and you're gaining equity in your own property. I personally, I'm a giant fan of buying a house. I personally hate renting. I feel like I'm throwing money away when I rent because I like owning the home. I like putting my sweat equity and putting my time into making the house nicer. And so then when I resell it, I make a nice little chunk of change and that makes me happy. Maybe I'll go to Disneyland. Now, what are some of the cons of purchasing a split level home? Well, when talking to homeowners who have bought a split level, then moved away and sold that split level, they very rarely repurchase one. And there's a couple reasons why. The number one, and this one I fully understand, you don't wanna carry groceries up all those darn steps, or like hauling your kids up the steps right when you walk in. You always have to walk up steps. And I personally sometimes just get tired of lugging things up steps. Or trying to get your furniture through that small entryway, that's also a tough one. So that's a big factor on why people don't repurchase split level homes. Another con that the split ha level has going for it is that there's not a lot of living space downstairs and that's because half of your available living space in your basement is taken up by your garage because the garage is right under the house. So instead of having kind of a whole second giant living area, you just have that one small space. And then a third con would be that they are very cookie cutter like. And what I mean by that is you go into a subdivision and you're gonna see a hundred other houses that look exactly like yours with the same exact floor plan. So if you want uniqueness in the outside and inside look of your home, you're not really gonna find it with a split level because they are basically all the same design. Unless you wanna paint it some crazy colors and then make sure your HOA is okay with that. But they do very much all look the same. But for a great starter home, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And that's all she wrote. Should you purchase a split level? Is a split level the right type of house for you for your first house? Why don't you let me know? I would actually love to hear from some people and tell me, would you buy a split level? Have you bought a split level? Did you like living in it? I don't know, let me know. Well, there you go. I hope you liked my video. I hope that maybe it answered some questions for some people. And if you want to learn everything about Lawrenceburg, click on that like and subscribe, uh, cause I make a new video every single week. And if you have any questions, if you're moving here, if you're PCS into Whiteman, and you just kind of want someone to tell you that this town doesn't suck. It doesn't, I promise. Just shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good one, bye.